happen to be one of those lucky folks who is gluten-free because I'm allergic to wheat and egg-free because I'm allergic to eggs. However, there's one good thing I can tell you, there is always a workaround. So today I'm going to be making pasta, um, probably a flat pasta like an egg noodle uh, with this product, Cup for Cup, which is gluten-free, and this product, duck eggs. A lot of people say, if you can't eat chicken eggs, how come you can eat duck eggs? Well, a chicken isn't a duck. <laughs> Okay, so today's recipe calls for two cups of the Cup for Cup, which Cup for Cup is literally that. It replaces wheat flour cup for cup. And then three duck eggs. The recipe that I was following called for uh, five egg yolks. But then folks that have made this recipe said that um, uh, the whole egg is better. And since duck eggs are much larger than chicken eggs. We're just gonna go ahead and use three instead of five. So there you go, usually a chicken egg's around there. So, with that said, let's get going. So I have two cups of cup for cup, one, two, I'm going to take my three duck eggs. I usually like to crack them into something because duck egg shells sometimes cling to the product itself. Pour that in the center. Woo! Gotta make that well bigger. And then use a fork to blend it in. Oops. Oops, there it goes. At this point, I think I want to use my fingers. does feel like wheat. Gosh, it's glutinous just like wheat. I mean, not glutinous, but it's stretchy like wheat. That's exciting. I think I'm going to add in a little bit of water. Maybe I wanted to use... Um, fourth duck egg next time. Or half of a fourth of it. Half of a duck egg. So I'll have three and a half instead of three. There we go. That's good. All right. Okay, we're going to roll that into a nice ball and wrap with plastic wrap and let it sit. for about 30 minutes. Let it rest. All right, so the dough has rested for about 25, 30 minutes. I've already done two piles, but I'm gonna cut um, the second half in half, cover up the, um, the dough that I'm not using so it doesn't dry out. I'm going to roll this into a cylinder so that I can use my rolling pin to roll it out. Just a little bit more cut for cut on the cylinder. Press it flat, press it flat, roll it out, and roll it out. I have my pie 
pasta machine here. It is set on one. And I'm going to thread it through and begin to flatten. Excellent. All right. Switch over to the pasta machine, pasta cutting machine, and here I go. Long flat. Last time. Rolling it into a cylinder. Get a cut for cut. Flatten it out. In this case, I'm going to cut up some of the craggy edges because I have enough pasta already. There you have it. Some really good pasta. See you.